hey guys this is evie and welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be showing you how i did these classy pink and white ombre nails with bling so for this look i'll be using long hair pretty nails rose pink white and clear acrylic and i'll also be using some different nail forms i'm using these double thick nail forms i believe i got these from born pretty store but they are shorter and since i'm not doing really long nails um, I decided to use these because they're, you know, shorter, that they don't get in the way, and they do pretty good. <laughs> so I'm just showing you um, how I put them on. And I basically put them on the same way I put on, you know, any, any other nail form. All right, so after doing my natural nail prep and getting all of the nail forms on, I'm going to go in with the Nail Nails Nail Prep Dehydrator. Once that has dried, I'm going to apply No Lift Nails Primer. And I'm just gonna start off with a thin base of clear acrylic. And this is completely optional. I just like to do this because it gives me a nice smooth base to apply my acrylic to. And then I'm going in with the white acrylic and I'm forming the tip of the nail. And I'm just making sure to kind of feather out that area uh, where the white starts on my nail bed area. Just to make sure that that line isn't super harsh because we don't want it to peek through um, the pink acrylic that I'll be putting down. Um, so anyway, I am just patting this in place and trying to make the shape of the tip as close to the final shape. And then I just go with a tiny bit of white over it um, just to make sure the white color is super even. All right, so then I'm going in with a bead of the rose pink acrylic and I place that um, near the cuticle area and I'm just going to work that in place, making sure that it is nice and even around the cuticle area first. And then I'm just going to work that down the nail. And I just take small beads of the rose pink and um, just try to blend that down the nail to create a nice soft ombre. And I just repeat the same thing for each nail.
And after I applied all of the acrylic, I went ahead and encapsulated the nails with clear acrylic, um, just the tip area and also where the uh, pink and the white meets just to make sure that that area did not get disturbed while I was shaping and filing. Um, I don't know what happened to that footage. I guess it didn't record, but yes, I went ahead and capped these nails with clear acrylic. All right, so this is after all of the acrylic is laid and dried, and I'm going to be doing my shaping and filing. And I like to use a 100 slash 180 grit nail file. And I start off on the 100 grit side, and I shape the sides and the tip of the nail first. And then I smooth over the nail um, just to make sure I'm getting rid of all of the bumps and all of that. So after all of the hand filing is done, I like to go in with my medium grit safety bit and I like to work this around the cuticle area just to seal in the acrylic around the cuticles um, just to make sure that there isn't any lifting and that that is a nice smooth transition. these crystals um, I have my iridescent crystals that are available on my website and the rest of these are available from GearBest I will leave links down below so I'm going to place a large bead of clear acrylic down on my nail and then I'm going to place these large crystals into the clear All right, so once those are all in place, I'm gonna go in with the Poochie's Nails Super Shine Gel Top Coat. And I just take my alpha gel brush to clean up any gel polish that got on my cuticles. And before I cure, I'm going to apply some iridescent crystals. And then I cure in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. So after allowing the nails to cool down, I am going to apply some cuticle oil. And this is the finished look. I love a simple but classy pink and white ombre. I love how these nails turned out. And I love the extra bling that I added just, you know, because I love bling. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this nail tutorial. Head over to longcareprettynails.com and check out the shop. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you in my next one.